Okay, I'm just doing a puzzle update to show you guys where I am. We have the rusted pickup truck. We got some of the pups here. We've got the butterflies and the birds. So, got a little bit further to go. Well, hello dudes and dudettes. I have not seen you guys in a bit, but it is a new day. It is 5.10 in the evening. I finished my work day, but I got stuff done. I'm just coming back from vacation, so this week it's a little bit, you know, more intense. Um, plus, we're getting ready to come up on the end of the month, right? Today's the 23rd, so I've got like all that kind of stuff to do. I think I'm going to relax tonight, work on um, some of my cosmology stuff, and doing some uh, charts. <sighs> Maybe read a little bit, I don't know. Babe, are we watching a movie tonight? We'll watch a movie tonight. I need to start yeah. sharing what movies we watch with you guys because we find the most random movies. There was a movie that <laughs> Greg robbery, turned on. Blackmail. Yeah, it was something about like family robbery, blackmail, with and Luke Perry. with yeah, Luke Perry was in it. So I can't remember the name of it, but apparently we watched it, but we weren't paying attention to it. We remember bits and pieces of it. But you know, Greg and I tend to like sit here and talk through movies and not really pay attention. It's more like background noise. We don't normally turn the TV on until about eight o'clock at night, and then we'll watch like a movie and then we'll go to bed. That's usually the way our evening goes. Um, have we decided on dinner? We have no clue what we're doing for dinner. Let's see where the rest of the night goes. But I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to get done tonight too, so. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is Thursday and this is my um, week back from vacation. So it's kind of a busy week. Um, things are starting to kind of slow down a little bit, which is good. Um, I do have a mess in this closet. So um, Greg and I decided to move my work computer up um, to upstairs from the basement um, up here into my closet and also I'm getting fall decor out so this place is a mess um, also I need to take the clothes that I'm not going to wear this fall slash winter move that upstairs into the attic um, so I've got I have a lot of things going on I just got done with my workouts I finished my um, my fasted cardio I am waiting to be able to eat and uh, right now I'm getting ready to upload a portion of a video um, to my Facebook um, page there was something that I posted back in 2013 and I was like you know that's a really good reminder because right now I'm going through uh, a lot of emotions and just trying to uh, figure out where I want my focus to be and to try to stop living so much in the past so you can't grow and you can't move forward if you are constantly looking back kind of ironic though that i'm posting something from back in the day but you know <laughs> that is me and it's weird because i was up um most of the night last night i was kind of tossing and turning i have a lot of thoughts going through my head and i want to make sure that i clean up those thoughts before I share them anyway I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get my work computer on right now I my my desk has my Mac and then my LG Windows computer the Windows is for work my Mac is for me so yeah my desk looks a little crazy but it's okay hey guys good morning what's up it is Saturday. Greg and I are heading out to the mountains. I want to see the leaves are starting to change in fall so I wanted to go out to the mountains and see what signs of fall we can find. Plus we're going to um, stop at any kind of yard sales that we come across. Greg and I are on this eBay kick thing so I'm kind of having fun and now I'm going around the house like trying to find like anything I can find that we can just put up on eBay and try to sell. <laughs> It's a little bit of an addiction, but it's fun. I just sold um, Oracle cards, Doreen Virtue Oracle cards yesterday. We've made almost $200 off of like eight cards. And we put them in two sets, um, four cards each, and that's what Greg was dropping off. And now we're getting ready to take off. Let's go. 
Hey guys, what's up? We are at High Rock Mountain and I see something and I have to show this to you guys because we were just up here a couple months ago and they had the sign from Larry Hogan saying that I think it was you have to wear a mask and social distance so I want you to see this. The sign is gone so that's interesting. I don't know if somebody took it or if they, they would have had to have taken it down right? The government. Huh. Well then that's it. So you guys officially hear it from me first. COVID is over per Hogan and Hogan is like the head of all the governors. So you're welcome. Greg hates me coming up here. He's afraid I'm, he says I have no fear. And I'm scared to death of heights. BLM. You can't even see anything anyway. It is foggy. Well, we came out to the lake, but there's no lake. It's all dried up. That's yeah, way, way down. But this is almost like a yearly thing. Always right around this time. It goes all the way down. We are here to help. But keep your distance. <laughs> wow hey guys what's up good morning it is Sunday and the leaves are changing colors the seasons changing and Greg and I are heading out to the mountains because I thought why don't we just go like really far and see all the signs of fall so we're going through you've got cornfields that need to come down there are some cornfields that are already down um, the leaves are changing, it's just beautiful. So, we're gonna go for a ride. Let's go do this. Gabe, you wanna say hi? Hey. <laughs> All right. Now yeah, they're turning yellow. It's a whole lot of pumpkin. Did y'all see all those pumpkins? I'm just saying. That's like so cool. Uh oh, do we see a police officer? We in trouble? It's just they're gonna come like for us. 42 when I went through, it was on his name, so. It dropped from 50 to 40. Sure it did. Just like rock up and down. You can go rock up and down this? 
You go up, there's nothing to rock. You're going to come right back down. Yeah, but if you go up and then you go down, you're still on that ramp. The only thing you can do is go back up again. You're going to go down and back up the road in a truck. You've never been in a truck. Trucks don't work down. Whatever. Oh my God. Look at that view. Oh my God. This makes my heart flutter. I got like butterflies in my stomach. And I feel a little nauseous. But it's so beautiful out here right now. Look at the sky. The sun's trying to break through, isn't it? Yep. That's heavy, heavy rain for three, four hours. Well, here we are. Look, you can tell how it started to even dry up because yeah. you've got it wet. So, I mean, it's drying up quick. But ain't been no idiots around here over here. You can tell idiots they put this too. Look, we never saw that right there, but how it curves. Yeah. That is wild. And if you think about this, the water is basically right here where the, um, I mean, look where it ends. And it's nothing but dry all the way over here. And the water is supposed to go all the way down there. But as you can see, it's pretty much almost equal to where the duck is. Hey guys, what's up? We are out at the Katakin Mountains and um, checking the water level. The water level is really, really low. So we did that, we stopped at a couple um, yard sales and there's a ton of yard sales right now because I think this is supposed to be like the weekend of the Color Fest in Thermont, but they canceled it because of COVID, but everybody still got a bunch, like there's a lot of outdoor vendors and stuff still going on. So officially they're not calling it the Color Fest, but it's pretty much going on. So they are packed out here. So we may stop and see um, if we can pick up a few other things because we've been buying things and reselling them on eBay. That's what we got going on. Okay, so we had to buy a new food saver because the one back there is kaput. Six years? Well, six years, yeah. I mean, but it's still kaput. <laughs> well, you guys, we made our weekend stop out to the Katakin Mountains. This is the lowest we've ever seen it. Last week was the lowest. Now it's even lower. Yep. Oh my god, that is so sad. Yeah, this is definitely the lowest. It's funny the fish leave their pallets out there. I mean. Hey guys, good morning. What's up? It is Monday. It's countdown time before staycation starts, which will be next week. So I'm excited about that. I have a lot to get done this week, but I'm gonna take you along with me. Right now, 
Greg is working on finishing up breakfast and then we're gonna eat and I'm gonna get ready to work. All right, scrambled eggs, bacon, and spicy cheese. All right, I have been terrible about taking my multivitamins, so I'm taking this, this is Opti Woman's. I love this stuff, I've taken it for years. It's very easy to get down. And here's... It was flowing. Greg peppered this up too. Just black pepper, but he peppered it up crazy. Look, look at what he did to his. Hey guys, what's up? I finished breakfast. I am getting ready to start my work day. Before I do, because it's the last day before vacation, I'm going to write on my little yellow notepad what my priorities are for this week so that I can kind of focus and I'll just hit each item as it comes. And I'm going to try to stay out of my email as much as possible so I don't get sidetracked because that can really throw my day off. So when I decide that it's time to just focus in on email, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be hopping in and out of my email all week. So that's some of the tips that I have for trying to stay focused this week. Let's go ahead and uh, write up our to-do list and get this day started. Okay, now that we have the to-do list together, it is time to get to work and uh, make some make some headway into to all this. So let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is Saturday. Greg and I are getting ready to head out. I'm kind of starting my staycation. However, I do have to work for a few hours on Monday because I took some time at the beginning of the year when Greg got really sick um, with COVID and all that stuff. So I have to work for a few hours Monday, but then the rest of the week I'm off. Right now, Greg and I are getting ready to head out for the day. We're going to stop and get some lunch, and then we have to go pick up something because we have this critter in our yard. Let me show you what it's doing. It's digging up this hole, and we cover it back up, and then it digs it back out again, and we don't know what, exactly what it is. I think it's a cat, but I'm not sure. Greg doesn't think it is, but it's like digging up this hole, but it's not digging all the way into the, the ground, if that makes sense. And we found that it tried to bury a mouse in the hole. So let me show you the hole so you can see what's happening. Okay, going out to this hole kind of freaks me out a little bit. So the other day I noticed, it's not, it's actually not as deep as it was. Um, the other day I noticed that I could see the roots to the tree and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I don't know what's going on, but we're, we're gonna figure it out because this can't continue to happen. Okay, you guys, Greg and I started this puzzle about three days ago. We finished it. We were up super late last night. <laughs> we were up past one o'clock, um, kind of working on the puzzle. This morning we finished it up, and we realized that we're missing a piece here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. That's what we've been doing this morning. I just noticed, you guys, have a really good smudge on you. I think, I hope I fix that now. Okay, good news, good news. You wanna do the honors? Nope, you can. Okay, Greg found the missing piece. <gasps> he found the missing piece. Now we have a complete puzzle. That's awesome, yay. <laughs> that, that was like 30 seconds ago. I was telling you guys we didn't have the piece and now we've got it. Good old Pennsylvania. Got my mask. You gotta tell me where it is. You'll see it's sticking out. It's a big piece of PVC pipe. You gotta go slow. 